What is up guys, so today I'm going to be going through a best of three I did with Fly Shy Guy and I'll put the channel link in the description in the comments and I guess let's just go through the games. Um, so there are two Yin Yang games but I'm assuming it's this one because if you look at the towers this one's got Sniper attached you to Glue and Cobra so I don't think that's the game. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's this one because I recorded these games over a week ago and I'm sorry uh, Fly Shy Guy, I'm sure you're listening to this. I'm sorry I couldn't get them out quicker, I had lots of pre-recorded videos, and honestly, I don't think I'm going to do many best of threes on my channel, because I just prefer doing live comms, I guess, uh, rather than going through Battles TV, I guess you could say, um, but I'm happy to commentate these games, because I guess Battles TV is quite a fun way of looking at things, also I didn't record them, um, I wasn't on my PC, um, so... I'm sorry I can't blur out the timer, it is kind of annoying, uh, you could definitely say that. Um, I'm sorry, with um, Windows Movie Maker, which is my editor thingy, um, you actually can't overlay any images whatsoever onto the screen. All you can do is speed up uh, gameplay and add music, and put in some um, special effects such as like blur out the screen, uh, but I don't really need to use those, so I can't actually add anything. So like, for my Q&A, um, when I reach a thousand subscribers, well, if I reach a uh, thousand subscribers ever, finally, it's taken ages. Um, but I won't be able to put the Q&A questions actually on the page, which kind of sucks. Uh, but anyway, let's get into the gameplay. So, uh, he's leaked down to 24 lives on round 7. Um, he, he has got more farms up than me, uh, but I've got, a, I've got more money than him right now. Plus, um, this extra eco. But anyway, so we're about equal right now, apart from I have a little bit more money, because he's upgraded these boats to, um, whoa, he's got the skins. So he's got a cannon ship, and I guess that's a faster firing grape shot boat. Meanwhile, I went with the lightning bolt wizard, because uh, it's a lot uh, better against Grooblins. I go for a small yellow rush, doesn't do anything, he's got a pretty good defense at the moment. Um, he's actually, he doesn't have the wizard, he has the ninja. Uh, so I'm not sure which one's better, but anyway, I'm out farming him because he's saving money up. I uh, think I'm going to rush him, uh, which I don't, so I, I can just focus on the farms. I also get another lightning bolt wizard up, just to be sure, because that's that could pretty much handle. Like, you can see he sends some regrow zebras there, and the wizards uh, demolish it completely, and I don't lose any lives. So I go for some regen lead because, you know, a cannon ship is terrible against regen balloons. Like, it's seriously bad, but with the battle energy, uh, with buying another um, another boat, like another, another cannon ship, he does defend without losing a single life. But you can see here, I am out farming him by quite a lot. Um, he's got a definitely, he's got a better defense. Uh, but as you can see, I upgrade. He sends a Moab. I upgrade to Fire Mage, and um, well, you can see uh, that the Fire Mage actually does quite a uh, decent damage. It literally just pops it to that. Uh, and I was so worried here because it looked like the lightning wizard wouldn't blow back the balloons. Luckily, it just manages to hit the ceramic, and the ceramic goes uh, back to here. But that was way too close because the tornado didn't shoot it over here; it shooted it down here to start off with, so it didn't have one ready. So that that was too close. If I had died to that, I would have been so annoyed. So I go for some more region leads, um, just because I want to get another energy out of him. And he leaks down to 18 lives. Of course, it's battles TV lag, uh, so you can't see exactly what happens. But that that is really close. Um, I'll go for some more region leads uh, and a Moab, but he gets a Bloon Jitsu Ninja up, and uh, he actually savos it as well. He uh, Bloon Jitsu spams, so he defends that easily. Um, but now he has no farms. I have uh, 200 extra eco, um, so basically I, I'm out farming him quite a bit. Um, but of course he can sell his defense, get some farms back up. Then I go for some yet some more regen leads. Uh, and we get the last boost out of him, so he has no boosts left whatsoever now, um, which is good. And then he goes for an all-out BFB rush, and um, with some fast cooldown uh, Moabs. And, well, the, the wizard, uh, the, uh, the phoenix thing, it doesn't do as much damage as I thought it would. And I die to his rush, um, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but anyway... That's how it goes. I thought the Phoenixes would do a lot more damage. Uh, I watch uh, Jaja Josh's. Uh, oops, did I just go into a different one? Yeah, I watched Jaja Josh's uh, video with the 
uh, the Phoenix, like where he, when he was using uh, Ice and Wizard, and it looked like it was really good. Uh, apparently not. So I'm going to jump into the second game. I chose Ice Slow. Uh, I quite like it. And you can see our loadouts are exactly the same. Um, apart from I got Mortar as uh, my fourth tower, and he got uh, the farm as his fourth tower. Um, farm probably being more useful than the Mortar, I'd say, because uh, you can like you can get a Republic up um, for around like 18 or something, and you can sell it if the, uh, the opponent doesn't all out rush, etc. And it's a it, you know mixed eco is better than going just eco. I feel because uh, you kind of feel more safe in a way um, with a farm um, that you can sell for lots of money. Also, it does generate money as well, of course. So you have that on top of the eco. Um, so we're both going with the um, the Ebba starts uh, sub the, the starts uh, with it, and it's pretty good uh, popping everything. I mean, it only starts to fail against greens, uh, and I boost some greens. Um, I lose a few lives to the greens they send, um, but they uh, fly shy guy uh, actually road spikes those greens, uh, which I found pretty interesting. Um, I didn't use up any of my road spikes for it, so I I tend to. Um, well, firstly, um, when you're getting a reactor up, uh, you want to keep uh, the spikes for the leads they send, so you can just um, tank a few and spike a few. Also, the spikes are really good at, against Moab class balloons, because each spike has 20 popping power. Moab has 100 health, pretty sure. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure about that. Um, so yeah, anyway, we're sending the leads. Um, I, as you can see, I spike them. Uh, I could probably make it so um, each spike uh, pops two if you put it on the corner. But anyway, you can see I don't have quite enough money for the reactor there. So I do leak like um, 20 lives or so. But right now, um, we we I've got a tiny eco advantage, but it's literally it's insignificant. Um, nothing much about it. But it looks like um, we're exactly the same on um, money as well. And I go for some, for some reason, I go for those regen rainbows. Um, which was very stupid. I don't think I realised he had the Ebo starts up. Uh, I guess that's why I did it. But anyway, uh, we're just going to send a few pinks. Um, now he's slightly ahead in the eco, uh, but nothing much again. Keep sending the pinks. Um, and then on round 15, you can send um, a ceramic. Um, normally layered with pinks uh, to see if it does anything. So you see, I go for a camo ceramic uh, with some pinks over the top. And it doesn't do anything because he gets a ninja up. I've also got ninja as well. Um, and he doesn't go for it uh, against me either because he probably knows I can defend. So as you can see, I'm still slightly behind on the eco. Uh, he's on 800, I'm on 800 now. Um, he's saving up his money for a Bloon Jitsu Ninja, for round 18 Moabs, um, fast cooldown ceramics, etc. And straight off the mark, he sends a Moab at me straight away. But I've got two Ebba starts up. Uh, and I still have three monkey boosts left. So as you can see, uh, I'm trying to conserve energy, but then I decide it's just going to get too far. And I do energy, and I lose quite a few lives because I energied late, because I tried not to energy it. And then I send a mob at him, which is stupid because he's got 5,000 saved up. Um, yeah, that was very stupid. So you can see he'll deal with this easily. And then I send some uh, camera ceramics, which is a complete waste of money. And um, it looks like he's just going to defend this easily. But then the leads get in the way. Um, the leads get in the way of the ninja popping. And you can see he goes down to 24 lives. So I was really hyped up that. I thought he is done for. Um, but no, he actually did defend that. He bought an extra ninja. But it was close. So here, this is why I like going with the boats. Because the opponent can send a BFB. And you just literally, you just have to cannon ship it. And it's pretty satisfying. As seeing your opponent like wreck his eco uh, plus two thousand five hundred dollars, and you can just use that ability and destroy it straight away, which is nice. Um, but at the time, I didn't realise that he had boat. Um, I thought he would have gone with like Cobra perhaps or something. There is a Cobra strat on Ice Flow, so I go for a BFB right against him, and well, he has boat, so he just destroys that instantly. Uh, which is great. Also, I kind of prefer the cannon ship without the skin, if you're wondering. And he has to energy those um, natural ceramics. He, he leaks even more lives, uh, which is pretty intense. Um, then I just go fast cooldown Moabs, 
um, because I thought there was no way he would defend that. Like, he, he saboed it, but honestly, I didn't think he could spam enough Moonjutsu to handle it. But, with the boost, he does. Although, the thing is, he doesn't get his reactor up, um, so you can see. Uh, look, he gets a cannon ship up for some reason. He buys the wrong tower. Uh, then he goes for uh, the sabotage supply line. I'm not quite sure what he's doing here. Uh, I honestly don't know. He could have just got a reactor up. Easy. Easy to pen. But no, these uh, leads are going to regen like crazy. But are they going to get through his defense? Because it looks like he handled that pretty well. Um, so what is, what is going to happen? Um, who is who is going to win this game? Um, so I have to energy um, because I, there's no way I'm defending this really. I mean, I'm about to die. And then he dies. <laughs> like what? happened there I don't know I was about to die there it was literally I was li I was about to die and then he dies just before me and I don't even know how it happened when I was playing I was just like what the hell happened how did I win that anyway let's jump into the last game uh, he chose this map which I hate it's a horrible map and I didn't know what loadout to use he goes um, dark farm ace I go dark farm oh did I go with the boomer or did I go with the cannon uh, I think I went with the Boomer. Yeah, I went with the Boomer, I'm pretty sure. And um, I'm just going to pressure him with a few reds and blues, as normal, uh, just to force him to get the triple dart straight away, which he does, uh, which means I have slightly more money uh, to get my farm up before him, therefore get an extra banana. As you can see, I get one extra banana than him. Not much, uh, because now he can pressure. he's pressuring me with blues uh, plus pinks. Um, which, as you can see, does uh, quite a lot of damage to me. Because I only had one triple dart up against blues plus pinks. So yeah, that really that, that really damages my lives quite a lot. Um, minusing about 75 off. Um, actually, no. 65, yeah. I can't math. 67, um, to be exact. Um, then I send a few greens just to force him to get another triple dart up. Uh, which he does. He leaks a few lives as well. Uh, send a few blacks, kind of a waste of money to be honest because they didn't really do anything, didn't put any pressure on, but I am ahead in farms right now. Uh, I'm ahead by about like $200 because I didn't upgrade to um, triple darts. So now he's sending some blacks uh, which pressures me quite a bit with the round 7 AI. And now I send some yellows just to force, uh, just a few, uh, to force him to get the spike pulled up so he wastes that money. Then I get my second plantation, so we're we're literally e uh, equal right now. Uh, we're basically equal in defense. Um, actually, he does have the spike pole, but I've got slightly more farms. And then he goes for some leads, but I have the boomerang, so the boomerang can pop those really easily. And you can see how lucky I was for that lead not to insta regrow. Uh, you can see they almost did, but then I leaked down to 24 lives. That is seriously low. Uh, I sent a few regen zebras, trying to get some through, but it, nothing, it didn't really work much. He didn't really leak any lives off him, and I have to be extra careful now. He should have, um, because I have, I'm so low on lives. I'm so low on lives. And uh, he's he's almost got all his lives there. We're the same on farms. I go for a small zebra rush. It didn't do anything really. It leaked like one or two lives, but it wasn't worth it at all. Um... Also, this map has like the best jug spot ever. Like, the jug just goes down the straight line. It's pretty awesome, actually. And then I send some uh, regens with some uh, camos, a camo ceramic behind it. And it does do quite a lot of damage. I should have sent two camo ceramics, um, but I didn't. I should have, because it would have uh, made him leak. And he gets another jug up. So he's got two jugs, four triple dark monkeys compared to my six triple dark monkeys and one jug. So I've got a, a lot better on the uh, Moab Pokemon Tower, but then he just upgrades all his triple darts um, up to triple darts, and yeah, he defends that easily. He does boost um, at the last moment, which, uh, which was kind of dumb. You can see he face palms. It was kind of dumb, um, but I would have done the same thing, to be honest, because I, I would have wanted to be safe. Uh, but anyway, so round uh, it's about to be round 20. I sent a BFB, draining myself. I should never have done that. Because he has so much money saved, like he can just sell two plantations, and it hurts me more than it hurts him. Like that was that was a slight waste of money. And then I send another one, which is so dumb. It's really really dumb because he didn't go for his factory. If it was like a few seconds later, perhaps he would have had to sell uh, sell his factory. And then I send uh, send another one. 
which is like so dumb because he was about to sell his factory um he was about to get his factory again but no i just decided to drain myself even more um very dumb and look here look what happens natural ceramics i boost late and i die to the AI. um so yeah i hope you oh i'll just like this so i get an extra uh, like yay um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a bit different to normal, going through a best of three. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next one.